Yeah, how we bought this house. I was working uh, around town and a friend of mine was working at uh, Bodell Construction building uh, the white apartment buildings at the end of town um, out by Kimball Junction. Anyway, I went over there to visit him one day. Mark Bodell was there and uh, apparently there was a uh, like a couple hundred, hundreds and hundreds of glue lamb beams left over at the end of the project. Anyway, for some reason, Mark Bodell wanted to keep this disclosed. So uh, I said, well, is there some way I could, if I could buy them from him? He says, I'll tell you what, you go get me a thousand dollars and I'll take the thousand dollars and throw a party for all the guys because we're completing the project and you can come and pick up all the leftover glue lamb beams. So I rallied up all my friends. We all went flying out there. Well, first I stopped at the bank. I think I had $1,005 in my account. I took the $1,000 out, went and saw Mark, paid him, and I picked up all these glue lamb beams. It was several trips, five trucks, and uh, pretty much where the garage is right now, um, is where I stored them and they were literally as big as the garage. The stack was that big. Anyhow, I went through and inventoried them and then figured 50 cents on the dollar I'd sell them used and it came to $22,000. So anyway, um, I called my buddy Thad up, had him come over and he was doing spec homes then. He took one look at them and saw the 50 cents on the dollar and wrote me the check for 20,000 right then and there and took them all. So anyway, with that money, I called up the owner of this house that we were renting at the time and offered her to buy it. She said, well, it's kind of funny because I was looking to sell it this year. So I used that money as a deposit and, uh, and after that, we went to closing. Roxanne and I went to closing, and the house became ours. Anyway, um, it's a fun little story. My son Eddie likes to hear. And now uh, it's, in, it's, it's on, uh, it's on uh, written history here, I guess. <laughs> and so this, did this happen all in, in one day then? How, no, how long was one this? week. It was one week? Yeah. So in one week's time, you... You found the beams, the sold the beams, bought the house. That's pretty cool. Well, I mean, if you sit around with $20,000, it becomes $1 in a matter of no time because <laughs> you'd come up with ways of taking vacations or justifying some way of spending it on something. Well, I need a new truck or <laughs> so. <laughs> so anyway, you know how that goes, right, Eddie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I know how. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>